So I recently built an MPP, a working website without writing any code. I used an AI tool called Rocket.new and it handled most of my work from design database login to hosting old and automatically. If you are new to website or don't enjoy coding, this makes things super easy and if you do know coding, it save a lot of time. By the end of this video, you will see how I turned a simple idea into a like MVP just by typing what I wanted. So link is given in the description box to try Rocket yourself. So once you're there, you will see this interface. Now here you can build web app, mobile app and internal tools, website dashboard and landing page and load more. So it like works in a four step. You just need to give it a prompt. It will develop the entire web app website or application, whatever you want. You can add like many integrations in it and you can just deploy it. So here's how it works. So it supports like almost all frameworks you have. Like it has Flutter, it has HTML, it has Next.js, even it has like React. So now if we see integrations, it supports GitHub, Figma, Supabase, Netlify, Stripe, OpenAI and uh, Gemini, Perplexity, Google Analytics and even the recent. So let's see how to build a website from this. So here I just write my prompt simple metrics where you can list feature, drag them into must have and nice to have. Once you write done with your prompt, you can just send it if you want to add some documents, logo or screenshot to add in your UI or as a reference you can add. Even you have design in Figma, you can just import it from there. So I will just click on send button here so it will start analyzing my prompt now it is going to ask me a few questions like what I'm trying to build today like it's a web app or mobile app so for now I'm building a web app but in next videos I will definitely show you how to build a mobile app as well so I will just select web app and I will click on confirm button here and now it will ask you another questions like what framework do you want to select for this app like default framework is react javascript and tailwind css if you have any other framework in mind you can just click on customize framework and customize your framework if not just click on use default framework button once you click on use default framework button it started to create your website and now it will ask you the screens you want in website i mean like the features what kind of features do you want like now it says like searching for the relevant templates preparing context so now here we need to select our screen it's automatically suggested a screen that we may need in our website so it says like we have a feature management tool and we have like feature priority matrix dashboard history and analytics team collaboration settings and configuration we need most of them instead of like team collaboration we will just skip that and click on build my app it says full screen selected we selected the full screen we just need to wait here like few seconds then it start to write our code and you can see now it says working on our request starting the server and it now started to write code for us you can see now it's preparing code for each and every segment and it says like it says 10 to 12 minutes to build as per our request and it will build a complete website for us now it started to write code it's firstly writing tailwind.css file and you can see all the code color combination it's writing if you have a basic knowledge of html or react you can just read the code here too and now it's like building the tailwind.config file so it will generate all the file that is necessary to complete our website now it will switching to the preview page and we will see the preview once it's completed so as you can see here now our website is completed you can see a look here if you want to look in the mobile version you can see the mobile version here if you want to see computer version you can just select or you can just select the full screen now here we have our feature management tool we can add new feature from here we can see all the status if we have any features planned already we can just import from them from csv file we have the complete dashboard we can add or delete users we can see the complete dashboard too you can see the changes features added we have added any bulk updates or we need to see any data we can see the total priority changes we made even we can reset it to default user management we can just delete or add new user if we want we can like you can see so basically it's created the whole mvp for us any features you think it should have it added all the features now if we want to edit any code we just need to go back in our rocket account and you will see a code section here i will show you you can see the code here you just need to click on the code button once you do that you will see all the codes here if you have the knowledge of html or react you can add it from here if you still don't know how to write a code you can just say okay to make changes for you so you can see all our features and all our pages are mentioned here you can just edit it from here like let's say if you want to edit this is say user authentication system if you want to add it to user verify system you can just write it here and just click on the save button and it will automatically send request to rocket to save your this file and it will implement all the changes that you did to your code so that's how it's simple to edit your code now let's say if you want to publish your website to publish just click on the publish it's free of course you can publish on netlify 
just click on the publish button right here and it will start publishing your website it hardly takes like 10 seconds to publish your website if you want to connect custom domain i will tell you that too how you can connect that so you can see our website is now public just copy the link of this website and you can just open this in a new tab to see your full website preview and we will just copy and open it in new tab and you can see here we have our complete website running on this domain it's like subdomain of rocket new so now we will see how we can publish it to like uh, our custom domain if you have bought any custom domain how you can board that just click on the publish it and here you just need to add like publish on a custom domain button and when you click on publish on a custom domain button click on add domain and here you need to click on upgrade my plan you will have to buy any of these plan to upgrade to your custom domain first it has like 20 dollars personal plan where you get 5 million stoker projects are private data will not use to train their models and you will get unlimited custom domains the only difference in the all pricing plans is the tokens in 20 dollar you get 5 million token in the 40 dollar plan you will get 10.5 million and in 80 dollar plan you will get 22 million token around so if you want to buy any monthly plan just click on monthly and you can buy for a month too if you need to buy just click on the upgrade button and it will like redirect you to the payment page here you can make the payment you can see 25 dollar if you buy for the yearly plan you will can save up to like $60 and you can just pay with any of these bank or like Amazon pay so it's very easy to buy and now I will show you the integrations rocket support for that you just need to go back in your rocket account in the settings you find all the integrations that you can integrate in your website just click on the integration button right here and you will find all the integrations it has like super base that I already connected and we have like recent payment gateway we have stripe you can integrate stripe to receive payments we have google analytics google adsense to run ad we have perplexity here and even we have like a G github gemini open ai and all the basic or advanced integration that we need so that's all for today video i hope you liked it if you have any doubts let me know in the comments i will sort that for you i will meet you in the next video thank you so much for watching